Photo by Kim Clement USA Today Sports The Houston Rockets know they probably shouldn't be in a Game 7 in their first round playoff series against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Houston's three wins came in commanding fashion, by an average of more than 20 points per game. They led in the final two minutes of the other three games, needing only one to go their way to secure the series. None did, and Game 7 now awaits on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central. I just told them to enjoy the moment, Rockets head coach Mike D'Antoni said at Tuesday's team practice. This is weird in NBA history. Seventh game. It's all on the line. We should be foaming at the mouth, can't wait to play tomorrow night. There seems to be more pressure on the Rockets than the Thunder, considering that Houston entered the 2019-20 season as a perceived title contender and Oklahoma City as a likely lottery team. Should the Rockets lose, the consequences could be felt for years. Even so, the Rockets appear comfortable because they know the issues they have to correct. In the three wins, they averaged 8.3 turnovers per game. During three losses, that turnover total ballooned to 17, headlined by a series-high 22 in Monday's Game 6 loss. Even the passes that weren't turnovers were either down at the knees, or not in the shooting pockets, D'Antoni said. We just were not sharp. We know what we did, and we know what we've got to do," said P.J. Tucker, coming out of Houston's Game 6 film session. What cost us the game, mostly, was turnovers, added Robert Covington. James Harden led the Rockets with 32 points, 50% FG, and 7 assists, but he got off only one shot attempt during a defining 12-2 run by the Thunder late in the Monday's game. D'Antoni said that on many occasions, turnovers prevented the Rockets from getting hard in the ball. Obviously, we're trying to get him involved if we have to, D'Antoni said of Harden. We just kept turning it over before he even had a chance to get involved. Ellipsis. We'll talk about it. I've talked to him. He knows. He'll be ready to go tomorrow. Houston still has the NBA's no. One defense in net rating during the playoffs, but the usually reliable offense, no. Two in scoring during the regular season, now ranks at just no. Ten among the 16 playoff teams. On that side of the floor, the Rockets feel comfortable. Strangely enough, for a team and coach known historically for their high-powered offense, it's the constant issues with turnovers and execution late in close games that have come into focus heading into Game 7. There's no excuses for some of the losses that we've had in this series, Tucker said Tuesday. We shouldn't have film sessions. We shouldn't have any of that stuff. I'm just ready to play, period. Game 7 between the Rockets and Thunder tips off at 8 p.m. Central, with a national broadcast on ESPN. The winner advances to the second round of the playoffs to face the Los Angeles Lakers. This is what the NBA is all about, D'Antoni said.